Hey guys, Kieran here with Exploraminate. Welcome to a uh, Let's Play series I'm going to do of Endless Space 2, showcasing the one, the only, the Vaulters, or as I call them, the Portal Junkies, uh, because nothing's better than building ships here and deploying them on the front line. <laughs> I'm going to have a hard time playing not as Vaulters. Uh, I've been having pretty good fun with the Endless Space 2 uh, DLC. You know, this is a game, I think as I mentioned, I bought it, I was excited about it, and... Uh, just haven't played a ton of it. I know Amplitude's games really get good as they get developed, um, and that always held me back. But the Vaulters have proven to be a ton of fun. Um, still some some points to the game I hope are improved, obviously. I'm not going to get too much into that. But, you know, room for growth, which is healthy, but having a lot of fun. I didn't want to do another Let's Play series, though, from, like, turn one. Because, for me, I hate the beginning part of 4X games. Like, usually. Not always, but... You know, you're playing save, you're just like, next turn, next turn. Oh, there's my builder. Oh, there's a goodie hut. Like this, you're just looking for stuff. Um, not many 4X games have an early game that I enjoy. This isn't really an exception. Uh, and I wanted to show off kind of the end game a little bit more. Although this is probably more mid game. It's not really end game. So the state of the galaxy. Let's go over that. So I didn't realize until recently, we've got the twin galaxies connected by some stars here. And I have just declared war on the Sofans, Orange, who just keep colonizing. They're just pesky buggers. Like, I just need to discourse those scientists. Um, they are in an alliance with um, the United Empire. And on my side of things, we've got the Vulian, I think is how I say it. I don't know, the religious fanatics. And then the Horatio, which I was like, oh, great, I'm carrying the Horatio. Until I realized that, no, they're down here fighting Cravers and the United Empire. So the Horatio, very quick to jump on. But it's a nice three alliance system. Uh, orange and purple again against me being green, blue, and I don't know, teal. Uh, anyhow, one thing that I am a little sad on is I just recently found Argea. Um, so my class, my class, excuse me, my faction quest is not very far along, and I don't know when we're going to get down to the pirates. We've played pretty nice with them. I'm actually using them to pick off these systems quite frequently, because I'm getting quite a bit of money, and I'm just like, let's just buy killer fleets to go take them on. And I've started attacking here. I've got three main attack fleets. I've got, oh, that's my scout. That's funny. He's there. We've got the teeth, which is just my missile scrub throw away, shoot a lot of missiles at you. We're going to see how they do. They're my cheap. I've been pumping them out in the home world and flying them down to the portal here. They're my cannon fodder. We've got the main fleet, a little more balance, some bigger medium ships and whatnot, complete with the hero. And then we've got our end times. These are just my bombers, both small and medium. So as you can see, we're just demolishing this planet. So we're actually going to take it next turn. And I don't know if I mentioned, but we're going for the throat. I want the ionic crystals. That's pretty cool. I need a science boost, and I've lacked that a little bit. And the Sofon just need to die already. So that's kind of what we're working towards here. We've uh, gained control over the constellation Indus. I do love constellations. I do like how they look at them. Canista, Indus. Okay. And that's because the Black Nebula, Cabal the Neck, is that the right thing? Yep, so I didn't actually ever realize that. Um, your alliance is allowed to control these, which is pretty cool. Um, crater, unfortunately, don't, which would be nice because that's the industry. But we'll take food and science, so doing decent there. A little bit of growth there with some vaulters. Let's go next turn and take a planet here shortly. Uh, am losing in some manpower. Okay, it's stabilized. Good. Not a lot of influence, unfortunately. Uh, we need to work on that. But, so we've got our kinetic weapons. Great. We've got our torpedoes And our modular weapons. What is this? Well, that's a missile as well. Interesting. Okay. Cool. Cool. So, and then we're working towards uh, exploiting the high-end resources here, I believe. I was just like, we need to get those. Yeah. We're going to get those. So that's going to be a few turns. And then... I mean, there's some text like buyout I still haven't got. Uh, I think I'm going to work towards that and then phase back into... 
I've really just gone kind of influence ship in combat, haven't I? Well, we'll get there when we get there. New event. Here, my last cry. We can get some influence and some dust. A random tech. Um, let's take the science and the approval, actually. We'll respect the dead. Sounds good by me. And let's put our teeth fleet to the test. What do we got? Do you even have any attack? You have a little bit of attack. Let's see how this is. Um, we're going to attack. They're probably going to run away. Let's pick a little bit better. We're going to do barrage fire. I love how, let's arrange by, there we go. Love that auto sort. My range and I just kind of want to watch this real quick to see how many, oh, he's going to run away figures. I want to see. I was like, I, I want to see how many missiles really get shot. It's gonna be pretty intense. Let's go ahead and invade. We win. They don't get anything. We'll do a blitz, and it's a decisive victory. Do they even have any troops? I don't know. Anyways, they lost some population. We gained some momentum. The planet is ours for the taking. It's actually pretty well developed here. Signal. This would be decent. Let's throw a colony up there. For starts. Just for starts at least. And then main fleet. Engage them engines. Ooh, who's, who's slowing us down? Somebody is slowing us down. Who is that? We gotta fix that. I wonder if that's the hero ship probably is who it is. Let's look at it. Yep, it is the hero. Let's upgrade that real quick. Because I don't, I don't want to be going that slow. Wow, this hero is actually pretty stupid. Like, he's not that great of a ship. Um, there's some cool stuff here. We could go... Let's do sync lasers. And then... Mm, do some sieging. Targeted. Energy damage or projectile. Put that on. And for defense, throw a couple of these on for bonuses. Why not? We'll just trip him out a little bit. There we go. Okay, so main fleet. A few turns from getting there. We need to make sure that end times is right behind him. And we're going to put these guys on defense for a moment just to make sure no one sneaks in behind them. I don't want to get back capped or anything like that. And then I'm also pretty close if I need to get to Jaya. So, ooh, new population collection bonus of... That's funny, I'm killing them. Oh, 15% science. Hey, they're, they're supporting us. They're loyal. That's good. Principled nations. The principled nations? I don't know who you are, Leandra. You look like you might be Horatio or something, but you're going to die. Not principled nations. <laughs> no such thing. All right. Let's go to Soldan. And I'm just going to say these, and they're not going to be right, but that's not why I play these games. So uh, I can sit here forever and uh, I don't know fail at them or I can just go off the cusp and still fail at them so that's how it is it's kind of like uh you've ever seen the Simpsons movie it reminds me of uh, I sound like an idiot like the character that's supposed to be mocking Arnold Schwarzenegger forget his name he's like I was elected to lead not to read that's kind of my <laughs> my focus here um yeah I didn't do that so that's fine Ooh, link stone link that's pretty cool or we can go Tiny small planets. Tiny small planets. Oh, that doesn't matter. Well, which side of this room be on? Do we want sign? Oh, it's the same thing, isn't it? Defend eternal bulwark. So that is projectile defense and HP repaired per damage resort. Interesting. This is going to be the exact same thing. So. This is one of those things that I wish you could. 
I mean, we're going to take Rejuvenate, I think. I don't know. Both these don't seem very good. Um, I'm just trying to like reading this. I'm not going to read through it all. Like, who's going to go with me? Like, my buddies better go with me. So, who's with us? Ground battle. Where's this at? Show location. Okay, pirates, you need to get, you need to step off, guys. Like, I am through with you. Being dicks. Thank you. Cancel that. Here, recovered that, that. We had a bad experience. We're not going to talk about it. Some things happened. We're past it. And this is going to force a fight here. Nope. Oh, they're going to run. I should have clicked it quicker. Well, that system's pretty well defended. I feel like they have better defensive units than I do. Oh, well. Uh, let's pull up the quest here because I really want this. Let's pin this quest. Let's do what I had. And we're going to drop you. Quest engineering. Let's, put, let's design a cool ship. With the coordinator, we got the hunter. So we're going to go with the hunter. We're going to build um, missile fleets. Because I have my fleets out right now are like energy. So I want to go kinetic. Jeez, that's pretty cool. Stable isotopes. How much am I getting a turn? Ooh, they need to add that tooltip here. You can see it a lot of places, but not there. That's disappointing. Seven or three. So, yeah, we're definitely going with missiles on this. Make this called the destroyer. Throw some projectile damage up on that. Man, these guys really don't have that much in attack, do they? Like, two attack modules is not a lot. Just the way they're specced, but I guess they are a little more defensively focused. We'll throw up the movement points module. Some projectile damage. And then we might as well. I mean, that's nice. That's not that much more. It's actually a little cheaper since we're able to use minerals. So throw a little bit of defense up on that. With anything else cool? Flotilla destruction. Sieging. No, these guys are just going to be... These guys are going to just be destroyers. Destroyers. Destroyer class. We'll just name it that. Sounds cool-ish. And then let's throw you up here. Oh, that's why. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm like, they have no weapon slots. It's because it's the coordinator, dang it. Okay, let's try that again. Destroyer class, the real one. It's like, man, they have, like, no attacks on this. Okay, so, yeah, one more module. That makes more sense. Drop that. Make sure we put our movement on there. Ever-present movement. And then just straight health or... We'll just throw health on there. Raw, raw health is nice. This will be the real destroyer class. And then we need to destroy this destroyer class. Thank you. And let's go ahead and make a coordinator. That's going to be, um, I don't know. Stalwart defender. That sounds pretty generic, guys. But we're going with it. Um, throw up a little bit of defense here. I want to keep it somewhat generic. These guys, we're going to go with the repair, and I don't want to lower the chance of being targeted. I think we want to increase the chance of being targeted. Well, I don't know. <laughs> we'll leave it. We could throw some bombers out there if we want. That might be kind of nice. Fighters or bombers. Throw a bomber in front so they have a little bit of teeth with them. Okay, so these are going to be our new, my new best in class ships. Um, not Bane of Worlds. Just sort through this. I'm not seeing it. Oh, Star Wars Defender right in front of you. And 
like I already I forget what it's called. Destroyer class. There we go. The Outer World Destroyer class. So main world's pretty good. You know, I, I feel like six turns for four medium class ships is pretty decent. Obviously, I'm sure there's some of you who may be watching this videos like, dang, this guy's terrible. I get ya. Um, not necessary disagreeing, but so we have to find and orbit these because I really want that bonus on tiny, small, and planets. That lodestone link could prove pretty nice and pay for itself almost. Love those FIDS improvements. So let's pull that back and let's throw this up. So there's one there. There. Still out of reach. In reach. Gonna be in reach when I conquer it. Okay, so we know where a few of them are. Um, let's pop you up here. Let's get you out of the hangar. Wait, what's going on? Why can't I move you? What is going on? We created a fleet, right? Yep, portal over there. Thank you much. And I guess we're going to have to have you. No, not you. Uh, this guy. Have to head up there too. That's going to really help to have us on my side, just saying. Because he's going to be able to shoot a probe over there. And we're going to go occupy that. Just like this. Boom. There we go. Find that dumb little system. We'll go there next turn. Still sieging here, all right. Ooh, Soldan. Let's see. Let's take a, a look back. Um, so you're getting attacked here pretty heavily, it seems like. You've got a lot of troops. Got some decent science. Trade Center. Yeah, I struggle to, like, question what I'd want. Hot and sterile. We do have sterile here pretty well across the board, so that actually would pay for itself, wouldn't it? Let's drop down the AI labor. That'd be a good fit, I feel like. Okay. And it's for you guys. Get up there. And for you, where's the rest of these? Nope. I don't actually see where that... Oh, it's pinging right there. Okay. Pinging right up there. Wrong button again. So we want to go... Right there. See, four turns isn't that bad to shoot across this system, I feel like. Like, that could be worse. What do we got going here? You've discovered Iras, a neutron star. That's pretty cool. So experience, shield capacity, and then just some bonuses. Nice bonuses. Let's go ahead and invade here. Might as well invade with the Bane of Worlds, because we're going to take them. We'll go ahead and blitz fight it we're in a decisive victory we're going to take another world out here you are ours my friend you are ours i don't think there's anything you can do to stop us uh let's go ahead and run our missile group back up here because this is no longer a front gia is this yeah this is my my main jump and everything So we're a little sad because of colonization, but it's okay. We'll get with it. Wait, Altairs as well? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Um, just make some money for now. I'm probably going to dump you. I don't think that system had anything I really wanted. And I don't want that happiness penalty, so great. Microwave pipes will be good. That is a very good specialty for your production worlds. Very, very good. Um, let's go to war here. See if this guy really wants to fight me. So, pretty evenly matched. Let's look at our ranges. We're pretty good medium range. Medium and long range, it looks like. So, I guess that means power to shields. Because I don't think barrage fire is really going to be great. Yeah, I'm going to go mostly medium. Range it as such throw everyone in here. If we can watch this, we're going to. Nope, they ran away again. I mean, what do you expect? They're fools. 
You do get a skill though. Hey, <laughs> wonderful. Refill rate. Now for this guy being supposedly spec towards combat, I don't feel like, is he a leader? Nope, he's not in the militarist. He's not doing a particular amazing job. Who knows? Like I'm just gonna save his skill because there's nothing that really matters for our fleet right now. It's probably stupid. Well, no, not really, I don't know. It's just not worth me deciding which skill I really care about. Okay, Gronos, colonize these, buddy, in this order, please. And then get Xeno agencies, that's gonna take a while. Here we are. Take the turn. So we can at least secure three of these if my Allies can just do anything. Should work out pretty well. We'll stay with the scientific support, even though we're waging unfettered war against our enemies. Okay. Truce. Okay. Sure. Screw them. We're going to kill them. Okay. We found the Sisters of Mercy, finally. <laughs> we finally found them, guys. It's been a while, but we found them. Okay, let's come back here. Time to take their capital. What's that? And they actually don't even have that. Wow. They don't have that great of defense. That's surprising. We're going to knock that out in two turns. Boom. you got to love that bombardier fleet. At least I do. And let's make sure this quest tracks for us. Boom, we got one. All right, we're in business. So now, yeah, you need to finish going where you need to go. These guys also need to work on, oh my goodness, come over here. Oh, we're losing a lot of influence, interesting. That means we need to pull some off. Lower fleet cost, we're gonna have to drop it. We're gonna have to abolish it as much as that hurts. And pirates, you want to, like, get off of it? Hmm. It's really annoying. Um, I should probably just take some pirate worlds, actually, now I think about it. There's no reason to leave them in existence. Um, yes. The galaxy moves closer to changing forever. Dang straight it does. All thanks to me. And I plan on keeping this system. Yeah, I do. So, we're filling up pretty good. Let's go for that. And we'll let that sit a turn. Yeah, I know. You still have stuff to do. I don't really need you right now. I mean, I could put you with the fleet, but I don't have... When I have my second medium fleet ready, I guess I'll use you then. And we're going to go take some pirates out. <laughs> the hive can look that for itself. We don't need your help. Okay. Cool story, buddy. That's fine. You do you. You do you. And I'm just going to siege that one more turn because there's really no reason not to that I can foresee. Uh, missile scrub. Be quicker to go this way? Probably not. But we got to fight some pirates, so we'll move in position for that. And throw your little radar that way and then your next ship's over there go back there that's a safe system I don't know if the AI is really seen so got a lot of stuff to do so speak. I got your plant just like we talked about we're producing some Hyperion hmm, we got sterile and sterile and hot so I could double jeopardy might as well Put that down. Gee, uh, that Xeno tourism going. It's for you. Again, I don't know if I'm keeping that place. Um, oh, it does have Hyperion and. Hmm. I need to be selling that or doing something with it, don't I? That's just a waste. Huh. Well, colonize a planet while we're thinking about it. It's decent. Okay. 
we're going to call it there. We're going to end this episode, so we'll start by finishing off the Sofans. We're going to start some Pirate Wars after that, because I've invested too much money in them, and they just keep turning on me, because they are buggers. So, anyhow, thank you for watching, guys, and we will catch you next time for a little bit more Endless Space 2 fun. Until then, thanks for watching.